everyone welcome back to this channel today we'll be using a large hoop for our garland and it would include drapes now i'm using my home curtain to achieve this which means you can use household items to get a fantastic decoration yeah now this is our hoop just open it and insert the cotton. Here is our cutting inserted into the hoop. The next thing now is to inflate our balloon in order to get our garland. I'll be using ash and black. I've not worked with these colors before, but I love the combination and I trust it's going to come out beautifully. Actually, I believe that no matter the color you're combining, it would always come out beautiful. Colors make things beautiful, right? to build our garland and i'll be using the ribbon now pair the balloons up and start building them by putting one pair over another linking them up with the ribbon now you may want to use the fishing line um, depending on what you're comfortable using i'm more comfortable using the ribbon but trust me, this is something you can actually try at home. Yeah, don't um, run away from building a garland or decorating by yourself. No matter the occasion you have, you can always put your hands on try this. Um, if you have an indoor event, birthdays, name reveal, gender reveal, stuff like that, you can always do it yourself. So, um, using the long balloon, which is also called the 260 balloon, to link the balloon in order to fix it to the hoop. This would give it the firmness to the um, hoop. And then after tying it, I'm going to just um, place the garland, insert it around the iron rod which would help us to form our garland. attaching more balloons in order to fill up some spaces we have around the garland um, I mainly used black uh, to form the garland and then I would be inserting the ash and combination of some five inch black balloons 
in and around uh, the garland to give it um, more beauty, to make it more full, and also to close up some spaces that were not closed when we were building up the garland. <laughs> is already formed at the top when we inserted it into the loop now we'll just um, hang the tip that is the bottom of our curtain just to give it that draping shape I'm using the end of the ribbon that I used for the garland to hold the tip of the curtain to the end of the garland and then the other parts of the curtain I will be holding in place with a safety pin. This is to help such that our drapes would be formed appropriately. Some drapes will see that um, it's not shaped up together, it's not gathered together like we want and the drape is not forming up well. well all this depends on how you form it, which would help us get the result that we form. You know, the fuller, the better. Our drapes are more beautiful, beautiful when it is full. Shadows, I know you're scared. Take my hand together, we'll make a stand. We've got to fight to find a way. Dead of all the fun I was to say No more hate Just admit that you're just afraid Time to let go of all your fears and pride Stand up beside me, don't you hide We can build a better place if we can just find a way, then we can live a better day Rise from the ashes, from the anger, from the war Let's come together, lift your spirit for the cause We should be equal, should we live free All together, one and all, let's build a dream And now here is our garland with our drapes. 
I enjoyed working on this project, if I would call it like that. It's very beautiful. Please let me know what you think about this. And if you have tried this or you would want to try it, or you have tried any of our designs, please leave a comment in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. While at it, remember to subscribe to our channel and on the notification bell so that you would be notified when we have new videos. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. God bless you. Thank you.